everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, I'm going to try my first color gradient build. All of my videos are recorded and uploaded in 1080p HD quality. That doesn't mean that they will automatically play at this high resolution. Make sure to check your browser or app settings and set the quality to 1080p. No one likes watching a fuzzy video. And for the love of puzzles, I want to make sure that you get the most enjoyment out of watching my builds. Now let's get back to the video. I've never done a color gradient jigsaw puzzle before, so I chose this one as my first one. It's from Ravensburger. It's part of their challenge series and it's called Glitter. Now the reason why I chose it is because there's a bit of an image in the background. It's not simply solid colors blending from one to another. I thought maybe this would be a bit easier than the solid color ones. I have no idea because I've not done one before. So without delay, let's just jump right in. I sorted all the pieces off camera. I basically just wanted to sit on the couch, just casually sorting the pieces, not rushing myself. It took about 30 minutes. Purples, blues, greens, yellows to, to peachy kind of color, pinky reds. Quite easy actually to do, simple. The pieces are standard puzzle pieces that you would expect. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this across on camera. If not, I'll take a photo and I'll um, put that up instead. There actually is some gold glitter on the pieces. It looks like wherever there is white, or a lot of places there's white, they've put this gold shimmery glittery stuff on it. Now, I'm curious to see if that will affect the pieces fitting together because I'm assuming they would have glued and put the glitter before they cut the puzzle. So could the glitter have gotten down into the edges of the puzzle and therefore it prevent them from fitting well together? Now, there's lots of tips and tricks of videos out there. I'm going to give you two simple ones for sorting. I use reusable food containers. The reason for that, well, they're quite versatile. They come with a lid. If I need to move things around, it's easy enough to do and the pieces won't fall out. And yeah, they're, they're easily stackable as well, as you can see, simple. The other thing that I do, I know a lot of people, when they get a puzzle, they if it comes in a plastic bag, they tend to open the bag, dump all the pieces out, and then sort through it. I don't do that. I cut open the bag, but I leave it sitting up with all the pieces and I take a handful out at a time that I sort. And the reason for that is most of the puzzle dust then ends up at the bottom of the bag, not all over my table or floor or anywhere that I need to deal with. When I get to the last few pieces at the bottom of the bag, I simply, as I pick one up, say imagine this was sitting in a bunch of puzzle dust, before I take it out of the bag, I just kind of wipe it between my fingers, knock it off, and most of the puzzle dust will remain at the bottom of the bag. Look how much puzzle dust that is. Can you make that out? Yeah. And because I leave the pieces in the bag, I can actually use the bottom of the box as one of my sorting um, trays. And this is where I put all the edge pieces. Now, I will admit, I was more focused on picking out the colors than I was focusing on whether or not it was an edge piece, so I may be shy on edge pieces. If I am though, I'll be able to figure out pretty quick which one of these little containers the edge piece is probably missing from. So, sorted, 30 minutes, ready to go. We'll start with the border and then assembly. This is fun so far, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Okay, for the love of puzzles, let's get building.
So I've completed the purple section. In it, I did find a pinky color. These are kind of bluish, so I thought I'd start, you know, they probably go closer to the purple, but I grabbed out the blue. That'll be the next setting a section that I do. It was fun. It uh, maybe, how long did it take? Maybe about half an hour? I'll have to, at the end of the video, include a time of how long it took. But no, enjoying it so much so far. It's been fun. It is, it is challenging. It does help a bit that there is some imagery. And so far, the little gold glitter has not caused me any issues. So, as we see here, there, I've done the purple. So I really haven't done that much. And I'll just keep plugging along and I think this red's going to be quite tricky yeah because there's quite a big large section here it was the trickiest part of the border to get together there you go so for the love of puzzles let's move on to blue So that was a little bit trickier than I expected. It's taken me quite a while to do this much blue. Ooh, yeah, fun, challenging. This, this is definitely challenging. I'm not frustrated though, I'm having fun because I eventually do find where the piece goes. But I must admit, I didn't think it'd be this difficult. And the picture on the box isn't helping me all that much because it's, well, it's just very busy, you know, like take this piece. I thought for sure I found where this piece went 20 times over now. And I have no clue still where it goes. Oh. But yeah, Ooh there's quite a bit of green. Oh, look at that. All this green. That's going to be a bit complicated. Here's like a bluish one. I bet you, does that go right there? No, of course. Oh, right there. Okay. Well, there you go. So I know these pieces here go somewhere along here, but there's most likely some darker bluish green ones in here compared to like some very light ones that go over on this side. But yeah, wow, I've been at it. Whew, has it been? It's definitely been over an hour that it took me to do that, if not closer to an hour and a half. I think this puzzle will end up taking me several, several hours to do, which is fine, keeping me busy. Um, I think a solid color one 
would be a lot more difficult. It'd be a lot like just sorting pieces and try a piece and put it back and try a piece and put it back. I do love the color gradient idea, very much so. I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun. It's a challenge, a wonderful challenge that I did not expect. Oh, does that, ah, there, that one goes there. Oh, look at me, Whew, okay. Yeah, you just gotta keep plugging along with it, but um, it's fun, it's a beautiful, there you go, look at that. I'm just cranking it out now. It's a beautiful picture, beautiful quality, and like I said, um, before I was worried about the glitter, maybe getting stuck between the gaps of the puzzle pieces, not at all, no problem whatsoever. And there's no glitter everywhere. It's not like it's a big glitter bomb or whatnot. So I'm pleased about that because I was worried it would make quite a bit of a mess, but not at all. So yeah, there you go. Woo, it's, it's taken quite a bit to get to this point. Am I even maybe a quarter way done? Close to a third, close. But no, it's a great challenge. I'm really enjoying this. It's going to be so nice when it's done. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. So for the love of puzzles, let's keep going. The blue section took me longer than I expected, which is why when I started the green, I really took the time and effort to subsort my pieces. Not only did I sort them by shape, I also sorted them by like color gradient. So in the green section, you'll see how there's more like the bluish pieces, the darker green, the lighter to, to the yellow. And I also pulled out the pieces of the glitter that were in focus. So right down the middle of this puzzle, all the pieces are in focus glitter images and then it goes out of focus um, at the top and the bottom of the puzzle so that's why i'm working at the center of the puzzle first because those pieces were easier to put in now i enjoyed the puzzle but my husband actually said it kind of disoriented him he, he didn't like the out of focus image part of it all it made him feel a little wonky so that's interesting but it, it didn't bother me. Now, my question to you, please leave your comments below. Do you take the time to sort your pieces like this for every puzzle or just maybe for more difficult puzzles or color gradient puzzles or like when you have a big section of sky and all the pieces are the same? I think this is the first puzzle that I really took the time and effort to do such subsorting of pieces. I tend to do as much as I can and really then I get down to separating the pieces if I get stuck or yeah mostly if I get stuck I take the time to then subsort my pieces but this had the extra level of subsorting by the color gradient as well. So yeah how much effort do you put into sorting out your pieces? I'm willing to bet you know People either do it or don't or have to it. Uh, well, that's not really an answer, is it? <laughs> you do it or you don't do it. But yeah, I'm curious to see what maybe tips or tricks you have for doing color gradient puzzles too. Although the green section was the one that took me the longest to complete, I do believe it was the biggest section. The red section that you'll see at the end took me about 25 minutes less than the green section. So. In order, the fastest was the purple section, then it was that yellow peach, the blue, the red, and the green. And that's pretty much in order of how many pieces there were in each of those sections as well. But um, the red was tricky. It was tricky because there was less color gradient in the red. The pieces, it went kind of, you know, reddish to pinkish to a bit purplish or darker pink but it was very, very subtle, not as you know, noticeable as some of the other sections of the puzzle. But I must say, I just, I loved it. And even though the green did my head in and it took quite a long time to complete, I was so proud when I finally had it all done and finished. I, I really was, I just felt like I had accomplished the most difficult puzzle in the world and I was only about halfway done on the whole entire puzzle, but yeah. Let's finish off this green section and keep going. Thank you. 
I loved it. I loved every single piece. I'm so proud that I completed it. I thought I could do it between eight to 10 hours and it took me nine hours and 35 minutes. That's with all the sorting and subsorting and whatnot. I can't wait to do more color gradient builds. Should I do a solid color one? I wonder if it'll be or feel like it's a bit easier because I've done one already and I know I need to put the time and effort into subsorting the pieces. Or will I just not enjoy it? Maybe be too bland because there's no image? And will I prefer ones with images in the background? I've already been looking to buy more, so trust me, there'll be more color gradient builds on this channel. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. And until next time, ciao!